Oop. <laughs> you almost ate the mic. Lavender is the sweetest horse in the world. And also I wanted to tell you about New Year. Two years ago, Shania lost her foal at New Year's Eve. The most frequently. Okay. <laughs> also, the most frequent. <laughs> oh, fun! <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's episode. This one will actually be in English and that's the first one. Uh, <laughs> my English is not the best, but I will do the best I can. Yes, and welcome to the stable. We are going to start our Q&A with Frosty. So this is Frosty. Hello. Hey, Madonna. I'm coming to you in a second. Whoop. <laughs> you almost ate the mic. <laughs> yes, okay, so Frosty is my riding horse. Uh, one of your questions was if I did any other disciplines than reining. And uh, reining is the plan, but I ride all sorts of stuff. Uh, just riding. I'm kind of a, <laughs> a green rider. Yes, I am. And Frosty, he is so great because he teaches me when I'm doing the right or the wrong thing. As soon as it isn't that cold outside, the plan is to start ride him. And maybe if we are getting better, the plan is actually to go to Europe for a little competition. That would be really fun, actually. Yes. And what? Or your plan, Frosty. He loves uh, hats. <laughs> hey. You're doing toss. You're doing toss. Frosty is the sweetest horse in the world, actually. Hmm. Yes, got it. And now we are going to Madonna. Big Mama Madonna. <laughs> She is uh, pregnant. Uh, the father is this, lit this little star, my stallion. Uh, and we are expecting a foal in July. And uh, the plan is that you are going to follow Madonna's journey. And I will show you things I think about uh, with a pregnant mare, because I know you had questions about that. Uh, Sometimes I ride Madonna, <laughs> often with the uh, bare back and in a halter, because that's what we enjoy, both me and Madonna. Hey. Mm. Oi, what is she in it? Mm. And Madonna is... Uh, the mother of Lavendel. We are going to say hello to Lavendel. Hey! So this is Madonna's baby. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Lavendel is the su sweetest horse in the world. <laughs> uh, so Lavendel turned just four years old and uh, she is back home with me. Uh, I haven't been riding her now, but the plan is to do it in the spring when it is a little bit warmer. Oh, the vanten. Yes. Oh, hey. Uh, and you also had some. <laughs> and you also had some questions about equipment. Uh, what the bridal to bet? What is it in English? What bit to use? Uh, and to change the, depending on the horse's age. And I'm no expert about bit at all. Uh, but it has not so much about due to the age of the horse, more like what kind of rider you are and if the horse are ready or not, uh, I think. Uh, Lavendel has done something to her hoof 
so she eats a little bit lame. Uh, it's kind of like a hoof abscess. Uh, and I will uh, let you know in uh, future episodes how, how it goes. Yes, so she has some kind of a lot of build up energy. But no, she just wants to hug. Uh, and to some other of your questions, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, but I am cold. So now it's nice to be inside with the fire. Yes. And another question was my favorite food. I don't know. I don't have any. I love all food. <laughs> you can say. Um, another question was um, if I was uh, born blind. Uh, and uh, yes, I was. Uh, I have always, uh, my sight has always been like this. And another question was how, uh, how, <laughs> oh my God. Another question was how it has affected me around the horses. Nej, vad hur var den där? And how... Has it affected your riding and love for horses? Yes. And another question was how the sight has affected me riding and the re relationship with the horses. I think we can say it like that. <laughs> and I think that um, my blindness has actually helped me being around the horses and uh, giving me the opportunity to develop the bond I have with the horses. Uh, because I use so many of my other senses when I train the horses. Uh, so I think actually the blindness has helped me being around the horses and build the strong bond that we have together. Uh, and another question was <laughs> where I'm from in uh, Gotland, and I was born in a little village called Silte. <laughs> and uh, uh, I started riding when I was six years old, when I got a little Gotlandsros. Uh, and that was really um, a little girl's biggest dream, I think. And uh, someone of you asked about recipes that I did before in the uh, episodes. Uh, I think I would do some things like that maybe in a story in Instagram. So you're welcome to follow in Instagram for that. Oh, and when it comes to the question, my goals and dreams with the horses. My dream is um, to breed a horse that uh, wins the futurity in the highest level in reigning actually. So that is what I'm building now with the breeding I do. I plan for the future. Uh, and also I have another goal <laughs> that is really important because I want to compete myself on Frosty or Sparvan. I haven't decided or maybe Lavendel. Yeah, we have to see in the spring <laughs> which horse it will be. Okay, another question was what education I have. I don't have any <laughs> education at all, actually. Um, uh, it's the same with the blindness. I used my blindness to develop my own strategies about running companies. So I have a lot of companies uh, and I'm a really good salesperson. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I do. And uh, it was a question about the farm. And uh, that will come in another episode. I think the episode that will uh, be about trash, because trash is the reason why I bought the farm. <laughs> yes, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that's a great way to support the channel and also like this episode. And another question was, do we have any other pets?
besides the horses. And we do. Just wait for it. Lambi, come. Oh, herregud. Lambi, come. Whoa. <laughs> Lambi, titt in i kameran. Yes. So, this is uh, Lambi. <laughs> and she loves to kiss. Mm. She's a mixed breed. If you like, you can guess in the comments. Hej då. Yes, now we are in our uh, forest. We can call it the outdoor, <laughs> indoor stable. <laughs> and uh, you are going to meet Trash, Shania, Nikki and uh, Fiona. And see, she has grown so much. We are going to go up here where, where we are standing and eating. Hey, Paulana! And that means hello, horses. <laughs> hey, Paulana! Whoa. Yes, this is trash. One of your questions was, what's the name of the horse that told you he was a coconut? And it's trash. I didn't name him actually. <laughs> His real name is uh, Trash Talking Gun. And he's doing just fine. He loves his life down here in the forest. And this is Fiona. Hey! Hasn't she grown really big? Okay, so my plans and dreams you asked about with Fiona for the future is that she is going to grow up and be a really great reigning horse. Win the futurity. I don't know, 2027, 26 maybe. Yes. And I haven't actually decided if I will keep her or not. I uh, have a problem selling my horses because I love them all. <laughs> so, but uh, I can't have how many? I can't have, uh, I can keep everyone because I had 12. But I love everyone, so it's hard. And also, I wanted to tell you about New Year. Two years ago, Shania lost her foal at New Year's Eve. It's still a little bit hard to talk about. I felt it now. <laughs> anyway, uh, this New Year went a lot better. Uh, Fiona here got like major diarrhea, but she is okay now, so that's fine. And Trash, he was standing, eating. Oh, you dirty. And he was standing, eating when the fireworks started and he didn't stop, <laughs> so he didn't care at all. And that was a good thing. Yes, it was. Hey, come on. Hey. Do you have a kiss? She don't know English. Oh, I'm pussy. Oh, pussy. As you see, the sun is shining and it's a really beautiful winter day in Sweden, but it's crazy cold. <laughs> it's eight below and I'm about to freeze to death. And Victor are getting some help by Fiona filming. <laughs> yes. This is, hello, this is Nikki, Fiona's mother. Uh, one of you had a question, how many horses do I have? I have 12. And uh, how many that is born and raised by me? Uh, my plan is to do a presentation of all the horses, but each will have their own episode. Uh, and you was asked how old they were. Do you want this halter on? I think it's too big to you. And I have some major news for you. <laughs> Nikki will have a new boyfriend this year uh, because she had two foals. Uh, full siblings, uh, Fiona and Joey. 
what? And uh, now I have chosen a wonderful stallion and I can't wait to tell you, but you will know sooner in the spring. Hey, I think Nikki hates my this. <laughs> This is Shania. She is the oldest of my horses. Hey. Hmm. She's also Colibri and Sparven's mother. And you had a question about Sparven. We start on it. How old he is? He's six years old now. And uh, oh, she smells so good. Uh, and you asked if he had a good behavior around mares. He is a little bit study, but he is well behaved. But he loves the women, <laughs> the girls. Yes, and Shania is the best breeding mare ever. And it was uh, Shania that lost her foal. And she will not have any more. And you also asked if there were one of my horses that had uh, marked me forever, my heart, my life. And uh, <laughs> when I'm trying to say a horse, I can't because we all did. But Trash was the first one. I say that and not more. Hey. And I know that some of the things I'm saying now, many of you have heard before because you have been following for so long. But you are 75,000 more subscribers that haven't heard this before. so. I hope you, it's okay. And also the most frequently, okay. <laughs> also the most frequently, <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> oh, God. Jävla engelska. Oh, God. Hur fan heter det? Säg det du. Säg ordet. Jag vet inte vad det heter. Frequently. Oftast. Ja, Vanligaste. Alltså, Vad? The, the most uh, common. 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 Oj, oj, oj. Okej. Also, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, the job bit. Yes, <laughs> dude, also. <laughs> oh, yes. Det är svårt det här. <laughs> The most common question is, is actually kind of funny because The most common question on my channel is, how old are you? <laughs> And that I think is pretty fun. It's more a question about my age <laughs> than about the horses. And some of you refer to me like Lady, Lady Malin. And when I was thinking, Lady Malin, it sounds so old. But when I was thinking, I think it's actually kind of pretty. I love it. So I decided to be Lady Malin for now. Like this. <laughs> And out. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you so much for watching this episode. 
I'm looking forward to do a lot of great content for you and uh, follow up on every horses because this is my horse family. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like and please mention in the comments if you like the English, English episodes <laughs> or if you would like me to do subtitles. Bye!